Hello everybody, I'm Jim Deedlow, host of Jed in the Region. It's Tuesday, February 4th of 2014, 2414. And another long four hours of radio, just uh, can't get enough of it, neither can you. Let's talk about a few of the guests we had today. How about Alex Markovsky? He comes in as part of the local 142 Teamsters show. It's part of the paid programming here. And uh, Alex talks a lot about his dissatisfaction with income inequality. Let's take a listen. We still rent our spot here at WJOB. We spend our money locally. Okay, that's the point. You got to go to your mom and pop shops. I don't go to Fridays. I, okay. People have to realize that you got to give your money to your neighbor first because that money stays in your neighborhood. We have to, we have to help ourselves. That's why the 1% is the 1% now because they've taken over everything. And the only way they can make the things that they do legal is by having people make it legal for them. So Alex actually had more to say on this income inequality idea. Here it is, explaining his ideas further. Race to the well, bottom. You well, keep saying that. Because it, it, it is the race to the bottom. It is the race to the bottom. When I said earlier that the 1% needs people to make it legal for what they're doing, you, though it's immoral, they need to make it legal first, right? So what they do is they take... Our politicians, okay, the super majority in the House and Senate, and say, I need you to make it legal for me to pay somebody less, okay, but in the public eye, still make it okay. Also coming in today was uh, the folks from the town of Munster. Instead of Dave Nellens today, it was Officer James Greist, G-H-R-I-S-T, along with uh, Town Councilman Joe Simonetto. Officer Greist is well known for running the D.A.R.E. program, which uh, teaches uh, kids about drugs and so forth. But specifically, it's concentrated sometimes on the fifth graders. And Officer Greist had this to say. Um, well, we talk about uh, tobacco. We talk about uh, alcohol. And we talk about marijuana to the fifth graders. Uh, and, uh, you know, ways that they can get out of situations if somebody's trying to pressure them into doing them. Um, things like that. So I went through the program when I was in fifth grade, and it was real beneficial to me. And um, I always tell the kids that, you know, if they really listen and they use the, the uh, skills that we talk about, I think it can help them as they get older. Also this morning, Dan Repay of the Little Calumet River Basin Development Commission. Remember, WJOB may be the only radio station in America that has a show about a river. Well, Dan Repay was talking about once it gets warm, People can come out and actually take tours of the river, and uh, Repay had this to say. In the say. springtime, I'd be happy to give uh, tours. I've done it before. I've, we, we actually, uh, Jim here went on a tour. We put a small group together. We got a 15-passenger van. Uh, we rented from Marcus Auto, and, and, uh, and we, went on, you know, we went on the tour. There it is. That was Repay. Let's talk about Dave Kuziak. Kuziak normally comes out on Wednesday. He came on today. And part of that is we've had so much snow and so much very cold weather that it's creating some problems along people's gutters. So Kuziak came in, and he uh, we talked about that a little bit. And here's Kuziak. So, again, it's extremely important. Take a look at your roof. It's easy to know you have an ice dam if your gutters are completely solid with ice and you have icicles forming all the way down. And uh, you need to relieve that snow three or four inches above that. So there it is, everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in this morning, and uh, thanks for watching this little video blog. Tuesday, 2 4 4 I'm Jim Deedlow, AM 1230 WJOB.